Hey folks, welcome to another video tutorial. Glad you could join me today. We're going to be making the edge lit acrylic project. And so this one involves a simple little circuit underneath, a 3D printed case, and a piece of acrylic that we cut on the laser and do a little bit of uh, frosting on it to give it some detail so that as the light shines through it illuminates your uh, piece. So I kind of prefer uh, the old Futurama Evil Santa and uh, the Christmas tree here just because, I don't know, they look a little nicer having the uh, the whole shape around the outside cut out. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna do a maple leaf because it's a nice simple shape and so let's see how this goes. Let's copy this image, bring it into Inkscape, paste it in. Uh, it's way bigger than we need, let's just put it off to the side right now. We're gonna start by just making a box like a rectangle, uh, because you'll notice all of these boxes we made, they're all the same size, and so this needs to fit into a pretty specific size. So let's start with that. Let's make a rectangle uh, somewhere in the middle, somewhere around here. Okay, so my rectangle, it's uh, 165 pixels wide. I don't know how, that, how big that is. So I'm gonna go into the document properties and change my default units to millimeters. Okay, so now I can see that it's 46 millimeters. I'm just going to type in the right number. I want it to be 40, and this one I want it to be 25. That's incredibly close. Freaky. Okay. So, now we've got our box. Thing number two that I want to do, actually, if I could show you the, uh, the case in Fusion here. It's got some notches on the side for these walls. So if we put a little notch into our acrylic, it will help hold the whole thing better. So that's the next step. Let's make a little box here. The walls are about three millimeters each, so let's just make a box. This needs to be three by three. I'm gonna need two of these for each corner, so I'm just gonna duplicate this shape, which is the same as copying and pasting it. And so I could just sort of plunk it on top here. That's pretty close, but I want it to be actually aligned. Oops, I want it to be aligned uh, right on the lines. So I'm going to open up the alignment menu. It's either under object right here, or you can do the hotkey, control shift and A. Uh, I want my box to stay where it is and everything else to move around it now. So I'm going to align things relative to the biggest object so that my biggest object doesn't move. And shift click this other little box here. So I select them both. So you can align things, you know, in the middle if you wanted to or whatever. I want this one to be on the bottom and on the edge. And this one on the this edge and on the bottom. Okay. So I want to cut that little notch out, actually. Uh, but we have a couple extra lines in here that we don't need. So I want to get rid of them. So I'm going to select this whole shape here. I'm going to go to Path and do an Exclusion. So sometimes the exclusion doesn't quite do what you want it to do. I figured out why. Sometimes as you resize things like this or those little boxes, if you had done a resizing like this, uh, you might have actually changed the size of the stroke and it might have changed it into something that was a little bit unintelligible, like a uh, percent sign or something like that. And in that situation, uh, the exclude tool didn't work for me. Just make sure that your parts in pixels and that you're set to something visible like one or two pixels wide. I'm just going to undo those couple of steps I did just to get back to the right size here. Uh, which changed size for some reason. Funny. I want that to be exactly 40. And I want this to be exactly 25. And then my pixels change size. Close enough for now. So we've got the start, the base of our acrylic piece here. I want this maple leaf, I kind of want the top of the maple leaf to be, you know, poking out the top. Kind of like the Christmas tree here, but I want it to be a maple leaf. So let's first off, this isn't a useful picture yet because it's just a picture. We need to trace this in order to make some lines around it so that we can tell the laser what to do. We're making a path. 
by tracing this shape here. Uh, I said okay, there we go, we got a good one. So now no matter how far I zoom in, we actually have like lines drawn around it. You can tell by these little notes that get made. Okay, and get rid of that and select this and get rid of it because we don't need that anymore either. Radio, uh, it'd be nice to be able to see what's happening. So I'm gonna give this a white inside and a red outline so that it looks the same as the other one. And we're obviously way too big, so let's scale it down a bit and see how close we're doing. Okay, I might want this image to be on top so I can see it. Oh, sorry, I zoomed out too far. Okay, now I'm going to go back to these alignment tools because I want this to be aligned in the right place. So I'm going to select both of these all at once into the alignment tools here. I want them to be centered, that makes sense to me. And I think it would probably make sense if the bottoms were lined up as well. So let's try that. And it looks like the maple leaf, maybe it would work better if it was a bit uh, bigger. Maybe we'll try it just the way it is. I think this is going to work. So basically what I want to do, I want to cover this whole maple leaf with another copy of the maple leaf to get it all frosted in there. Except this shape here, the reason why I need to make a copy is that this one needs to get kind of broken here and here. Because we don't want these lines to get cut out on the laser. We want the laser to follow this, and then follow this, and then follow all the way around here, and not cut these ones at all. We also, if this one was on the front, it would cut this line across, and we don't want that happening either. So with these two shapes, what we're going to do is make a union between the two. So now both of those shapes have become one wherever there was a part of the old shape in there. So uh, that's kind of weird. I made like a tiny little bump for the bottom of the... Uh, uh, of the stem down there. So I might play with that a little bit. Um, I did forget one step, an important step though. So I'm just going to hit Control Z to undo. This maple leaf, now that it's the right size, now we're, that we're not changing the size of this, let's just make a copy of this one and drag it over to the side. So now you should have two copies of these maple leaves. This one is going to end up being black, the black line, so that it doesn't get cut. We're going to overlay this over top of the whole thing once we're done. Okay, back to this. You get to see this step a second time. Lucky you. Path, union. Neat. Uh, except I want to do a little bit of editing because I don't like that bump down there. So I'm going to double click this line. You see how we've got a couple of extra nodes down here? I don't really know why we would have those nodes. I guess the union, I guess our alignment didn't quite align it the way that it was supposed to. So I'm going to select this and this, these two nodes here, these two points, and I want to delete the segment between those two points. Same with this one to that one. I want to delete that segment. Now, we've got a nice straight line between these two if I select this one and this one and drew the line in. So this joins end nodes here. Now it's cut straight across. That looks a little better. So if you've got little details like that that need to be done, Playing with these nodes is a super powerful way to uh, make it look the way you want to make it look. Righto, so we're almost there. I'm going to select. Last thing I want to do, this and this need to come together. So once again, I could eyeball it. No way, I think I got it. <laughs> Pretty close at least. Uh, I'm going to do it the proper way though. Select this shape in the back, select the maple leaf. I want to align things. Uh, it looks like the tops should join up. So there. I want to make sure they're centered on each other. I don't think it moved at all, but it makes me feel better. Voila. So now we should have a red line all the way around the outside. Just this part is going to get frosted in. We're going to have a light shining up right here, so hopefully you just see the maple leaf. One last step before it needs to go to the laser. It's the same as it always is when things go to the laser. The stroke size needs to be 0.1 pixels, very specific. 
you should barely be able to see that line once you make it 0.1 pixels and we just need to make sure it's exactly the right red it's this one alright so I'm gonna save this and that's how you make that